America's battle with drug addiction is now being fought on all new fronts. It's all about reducing the risk of overdosing on alcohol and prescription drugs. Surgeon and scientist Dr. Raul John Dial here with a sobering edition of Thumbs Up, Thumbs Down. We are ready to go. It is a sober topic, but I, when I was sitting at home watching and reading, I thought there were some points that were being missed or people were glazing over, so mm -hmm. I wanted to sort of bring those up with well, you. Well, and so timely right now, too, with Amy Winehouse and so much attention yeah. being focused on overdose. Well, let's rewind even further and go to Tylenol. Last week, they lowered the dosing. So the first question is, did they do that because they wanted to prevent intentional suicides? True or false? Intentional suicides. They lowered it to... False. Thumbs down. Thumbs Unintentional. Down. Exactly right. You see, yes. there's a little hint that he oh. gave us there. Oh. I'm the trying to tip you off, but this is a very important point. So what's happening is people take Tylenol. If you take too much, your liver can burn out. It's underneath your right ribcage here. But Excedrin... Percocet and Vicodin have Tylenol in them. Mm. I didn't so know that. That's exactly why it's unintentional. They're taking Percocet or they're taking Vicodin, and then they're saying, I'm going to go in between and take Tylenol. Oh. But those drugs are composite drugs. They're, they're part Tylenol and part narcotic. So it's an unintentional issue where people were taking things that have Tylenol in them that they didn't even know about. So Excedrin, Percocet, and Vicodin have Tylenol in it. Pay attention. Don't take both. But, but just to be clear, if I, if I have a headache and mm -hmm. I take the, the one pill or two out of my... Perfectly safe. That's fine. Okay. Perfectly safe. What about, though, the idea that uh, you lower the dosage, people are going to go, ah, I'll Let just uh, double up, triple up, and, and you're ending up... Uh, that is up. the pitfall, and I think one of the points that we're making is just because you can buy and give it to yourself, don't take it too lightly. Pay attention. It's got 650 milligrams. You can only take it three, four times a day. Your Percocet might have 500 milligrams. Right. Do the math a little bit. Don't throw them in like candy. They're not that safe. All right, we're ready. Number two, Amy Winehouse recently passed away, and so there was this news about it was from alcohol withdrawal. So is alcohol withdrawal the number one reason why alcohol kills? No. No, I'd no, say no on that one. Not. So you're right again. The point being, 5% of people get these seizures. If you cold turkey stop alcohol, you can get sick and die. But most people are actually dying from car accidents, homicides, because they get crazy, and then mixing it once again with Percocet, Vicodin, so heroin, other things. So it's the behavior following the withdrawal. Exactly not necessarily right. that you're not drinking. And the disinhibition where you take you drink and you do heroin, and now both things are telling you not to breathe as much and you stop breathing. But, but the, you, you are saying there is a 5% uh, grouping. Yeah. So, so if you are an alcoholic and you're quitting, you do need to do it under some care. Absolutely. Yeah. Great, way to, great way to fix that point. Okay. The last one is New York passed a law. So now people are overdosing and people are not calling in because they don't want to get in trouble. So did New York pass a law that says if you call in and you're a good Samaritan and you have drugs and paraphernalia on you, we won't bust you? True or false? I false. Say true. They should. They, they should. did. Oh, they did. Okay, good. They okay. did. Not everybody has because in New York, the number one accidental killer isn't even car accidents anymore, maybe by getting by a taxi, but it's actually overdosing. Wow. And half the Incredible. people, while the overdose is happening over a few hours, mm -hmm. it's not always sudden like you see it on the TV, people are wondering, should I call cops? Should I call 911? I'm going to get in oh. trouble. I'm on the scene. So people weren't calling in, and so they're trying to rectify that. Well, and quite honestly, those people probably aren't in their best of right mind at that moment either. So, right. you know. And they that's put the policy point. to save lives over getting people in trouble, and, and we have to figure out if that's the right way, but I like the way they did that's it. That's good public policy. All, all right, right, guys. You got all, all the answers right. right. Doctor. Good to see you, sir. We're 100, <laughs> betting 100 today.